so i have rendered uh, a comp over here so that we can work on embers uh, simultaneously that, that look as the ember the, to set up the look of the embers so let us start with the particles uh, we'll go in 3d view and take a card and we need to make it minus 90 okay <laughs> minus 90 and we just gonna scale it a bit slightly like this and we're gonna take a, a camera and uh, slightly back over here and we're gonna adjust the focal length which must be 18 as it was it is supposed to be according to our comp and we can take a scene skin and render this is a card now and we'll take a particle emitter so emit from card and it needs to be from faces and simultaneously we can have a view of uh, how the card is looking and uh, we need to take the card slightly down something like this and we can increase the scale slightly a bit like this so what I'm gonna do is uh, change the size of the particles and uh, definitely we need to kill the velocity slightly we'll just keep the velocity for now we'll keep it for now and uh, to maintain the size uh, we, we're gonna reduce the size to somewhat like this and uh, we need to have variation in size and we're gonna increase the maximum life to something like 80 frames okay and uh, we need this to start at uh, like uh, consider it at 50 so that we can see and the particle is going too heavy right now so we'll go in particle 3 system and emit this is our emit and uh, we'll check it over here so that the particle is going uh, they have too much of speed so let's kill the velocity to something like this it has a velocity but definitely the low velocity and we're gonna spread them something like this that they spread uh, uh, randomly as you can see let's check in uh, comp how they're looking so definitely they are spreading right now and the the, the volume is too much we need to uh, like uh, emission is too much uh, so we'll just change it to one yeah this much is okay so definitely the embers are going up uh, but we need certainly more things uh, just like uh, some kind of turbulence to them and uh, even we need to work on their uh, speed uh, as well so what I'm gonna do is uh, take a camera slightly down so we're gonna add particle gravity for speed and uh, like uh, this is goes in minus we just add in plus not too much a bit uh, slightly slightly like this So this much is okay I think so uh, the speed uh, but we need to check with our uh, the speed with our uh, comp so we'll just have it over here so now you can see we, need, we just need to add particle turbulence so I'm gonna go and take a particle turbulence 
and let us just add turbulence uh, each uh, in each direction slightly in y and slightly in z so that they go randomly here in the let us just check so x is too much let's just reduce some from x uh, let's just remove it from x so now they feel like they are going up uh, but uh, they don't feel like they are emitting from the uh, uh, which is uh, fire so what i'm gonna do hold in we'll just take our camera slightly down to somewhat like this yes, this is okay and uh, they are going randomly so uh, and they have they, they are uh, like they have the, the similar speed till the end as you can see we need to reduce the speed of them so what we're gonna do is take a particle drag and we just gonna drag them slightly and now you can see you know they, uh, they have gone down so we'll go over there and uh, see Let's drag definitely. We'll take it slightly up and we're gonna increase the max life, I think, so slightly more to 100 frame. And um, this should be a difference in range, okay. And uh, we need uh, variation in velocity range as well. We have added that and let them go. Let us just work on slightly on this focal length, just reduce the focal length for her now. And uh, let us just see the embers. So there is too much of drag on them. Let's reduce those slight slightly. Okay, we can uh, increase the gravity. So now this uh, embers is quite good for us. So definitely we have something going from front as well and uh, we can layer them uh, properly. So this is uh, quite a uh, good embers for us. So what we need to do is uh, like uh, for future reference uh, is this that I'll take a vector blur and just tell you to take the motion and uh, increase the motion blur like this soft lines uh, normalize just uh, uh, we're gonna off that and uh, we're gonna change it to uniform so that they have streaky and slightly like this so now you can see they feel like an uh, embers if we just do a cc to them just a second let's uh, do a cc something like this make it bright and uh, before that yeah definitely and uh, add a glow after this like this and we can just use some bit of glow So now it's like the, the, the size is too much. So what we're going to do is take our camera slightly back. Somewhat like this. So that we have embers in behind. And uh, now you can see that the size remains the same till the end. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a particle which is curve, I think so. Yeah, curve. And we're going to, don't get crash. Yeah, curve. Let me just version this up save new version size we're gonna go in size i'm just gonna okay sorry apply curve to rgb what happened something wrong 
okay we'll take another one we're gonna apply to size and okay we'll take the size down Test it again. Yes. So at the end, it's like this. More down. This is quite hard to judge. Yes. the value is is this too much less like this and then F plus F so that we can have a view and less in at the bottom top we gonna take it slightly more down For the size, somewhat like this. So there is a size difference. Now you can see in the comp itself. So once they go up, they have less size. I think so this is the way it's not changing too much because the size is really low oh sorry this was close so we need to change slightly less or less this much is okay so net, like if we see we have embers emitting and we're gonna render it uh, s uh, like a, a much more off frame so that uh, we can change it or uh, we can change the uh, speed as well as uh, the whatever need uh, is there accordingly so we're gonna take everything from here like all channel so that we have deep and everything in this we'll go here and just save it as uh, i'll just create a folder particle particle dot exa and uh, uh, i'll just render at least 300 frame so let this get render so we have rendered our particle and we will place it according to our comp later on and just let me lock it so then we got change so uh, we'll uh, edit this uh, as the way we want uh, later on and definitely we just add the focus and work on the intensity as well so now in next video what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna uh, create the burning texture for our jacket we're gonna have some burn like bu burn things uh, over the jacket so see you guys in next video thank you